Good evening again, 9 September 2020. This afternoon, Minister of Immigration Chris Foy announced several border exception policy changes. This one I'm going to discuss briefly with you are the border exceptions for the partners of New Zealand citizens and residence visa holders. Now, great mistake or overlooking by immigration before all the minister was to do with Australian citizens. As we all know, a couple of months ago, the minister allowed um, those offshore um, who had partnership visas already to travel to New Zealand um, first with their partners, then without their partners. But that excluded all Australian citizen partners of New Zealand citizens or New Zealand residence visa holders. And this is because Australian citizens were never required to hold a partnership visa. On arrival in New Zealand, they had visa um, waiver for traveling to New Zealand and on entering New Zealand, Australian citizens are by law entitled to be granted a residence visa. But with this COVID-19 pandemic border closure, immigration New Zealand policy people and the minister um, overlooked Australian citizens. That's now been fixed. Um, the Australian citizens were outside New Zealand and they are partners of New Zealand citizens and the residence visa holders. Um, they may be granted an exception to, exception to travel to New Zealand. They'll have to apply for it, but um, now they're taken care of. And this also affected the citizens of visa waiver countries outside New Zealand. Many of them would travel to New Zealand visa-free, enter New Zealand, and then apply for the necessary partnership visa on arrival. But with the COVID-19 border closure and the policies put in place, they were unable to travel to New Zealand. That's now been fixed as well. So those people can now apply for a border travel exemption and they will be granted the visa to come to New Zealand. All of them will be required to submit a border exception request. And they must demonstrate that they are in a genuine and stable relationship. Okay, so it's not just a matter of saying, hey, we're living together. Hey, we're married. You must actually provide the evidence that you are in a genuine and stable relationship. And if you just write and say, we want one, you're going to be declined. So make sure you have substantive evidence that you are in a relationship. Letters of support from parents, brothers, sisters, relations, employers. Um, if you're married for several years, that's obviously a help, your marriage certificate, um, photo evidence, children is probably the best evidence. Okay, but anyway, provide the evidence. No evidence, no exemption. Now, the Australian citizens, once you've got the border exception, you will be automatically issued with a critical purpose visitor visa to allow you to travel to New Zealand. On arrival at the airport, you will then be granted a resident, resident visa on arrival as per the normal um, immigration rules and laws affecting Australian citizens, okay? So once you've granted, got your board exception granted, you'll be given the visitor visa. But you must provide evidence that you are in the relationship that you've claimed, genuine and stable. Those who are, of you who are from visa waiver countries, if you are granted the border exception, that means you provided satisfactory evidence, then you'll be invited to apply for a six month critical purpose visitor visa. On arrival in New Zealand, you can then apply if you want to stay longer for a partnership visa. I guess, I mean, the detail from the minister is a bit skinny in some ways. I guess once you've been granted your critical purpose visa visa, you could also apply then for a partnership visa. But my recommendation is I don't think that's the intent. And all if you do it, it just slows things down. So as soon as you've got your critical purpose visa visa, come to New Zealand, get here, then apply for your partnership visa on arrival. And again, don't forget, you're gonna to have to provide substantive evidence. Just saying you are in a general stable relationship will not cut it, you will be declined. And just 
Finally on that, if you have dependent children, of course, they are allowed to be included in your application. So anyway, those of you who've been frustrated, separated um, from your partners in New Zealand, you're overseas, you can now come to New Zealand um, if you're from the visa waiver countries. Now, there's a list of immigration. Um, there are 61, I think, visa-free countries, pretty much all of Europe, North America, USA, Canada, um, Mexico, most of South America. I'm not sure, I did have a list here somewhere. Let's see if I've got it. Um, no, I don't have it there. But anyway, you can find the list in the immigration website of those countries, okay? Um, so anyway, that's a step forward. There's still a lot of you who will be um, affected and very unhappy with this. And I'll keep you posted with other um, announcements as they come to pass. Good night.